Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the Enduro. This is the new Squape RTA from Statquam in Switzerland. Now I've, if you've been watching my videos for any time then you'll know I've had every single RTA that has come from Statquam over the years and some I've really really liked and some have had some unique features that maybe I didn't quite get on with that great. However, we have two this time. We have a direct lung tank and we have a mouth to lung tank. Now I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet here because the close-ups are going to go on for a little longer than normal because there's a lot I want to cover so I'm not going to just bumble on and, and talk nonsense like I usually do. The important stuff is that Two tanks, direct lung, mouth to lung, you have a 5mm capacity and a 2mm capacity one for TPD countries where they can only use the 2mm. I'll cover the rest as we go along. Price in the UK, go to Creme de Vape and the price is stated here £129.95. Release date is December the 15th and it is the 8th as I record this so it's next week. Anyway, enough talky-talky, uh, close-ups, here we go. Now I have both tanks here, so I've got the mouth to lung and the direct lung version. And I'll, I'll try and do these side by side, uh, it will make it easier for me and hopefully it will make it easier for you uh, deciding on which one you will go for. On the back of the box there are stickers here, so we've got direct lung and we have the mouth to lung. Now please bear in mind that I have been using both of these tanks, so excuse any fingerprints or e-liquid or anything you see. But uh, yes, these are both used. So, magnetic flaps on the front, open it up and you're going to find two little enduros. Aside from the writing on the box, the way you're going to tell them apart, because they look identical, is the mouth to lung one shall come with a drip tip like this, and the direct lung one will come with a drip tip like this. But, they can see that there, but you can see that both tanks are in fact identical. You do however have these closing rings and this is something else that sets the two apart. Uh, this one here, this is the closing ring for the mouth to lung and I'll show you this in more detail in a second and how it works and this is the closing ring for the, the, the direct lung version. So you've got like a, a big slot here and you've got like these little notches here. Inside every box you're going to find a hex key. Uh, you need this to remove, if you want to break the tank down completely and clean it out uh, then you can take it to bits, you can take the chimney out, I'll show you that in a second. You also get a little uh, Statquam sticker here. You do get instructions on how to insert the closing ring. Now I'm going to say this and, and Chris will go, the guys at Statquam will go a bit nuts about this, but listen, the manuals here are amongst the best you can get for any kind of device. There, there's no two ways about it. Uh, you can also, you know, follow this QR code here that will take you online and you can download these instructions as a PDF. If you do not understand my accent or you do not follow what I am doing, I strongly recommend that you go and you read the instructions for this on how to do it properly. Unlike myself, who's probably never removed the instructions, but uh, there we go. Right, we also have spare o we have spare terminal screws here, you've got all the spares you're going to need and you also get your little band here, your little vape grip and this comes in handy sometimes as well. Now this is a 316 stainless steel construction that you're looking at here and once again the two tanks look identical. Also I should point out that the 5mm tank that you buy, so the two that I have are 5 milliliter capacity, the two milliliter ones for the, the you know those countries and the TPD that are affected, like the UK, they will still be the exact same size. All they've done is made the chimney inside a bit thicker, but it'll look exactly the same. You will down the line be able to purchase the five mil tank, if you like, from various places. But right now in the UK, you will only be able to buy the two mil one from Creme de Vape. It is a 24 millimeter diameter RTA and the height without you know the little squip tip or the, the drip tip here and the 510 connector is 47.8 millimeters and the design it's 
it's classic scrape or stat quam scrape. Uh, you can see you've got the smooth stainless steel going on here, and then there's like the it's almost like a machine finished here, and then smooth back up at the top again. So if you know your scrapes, then yes, it's it's following the tradition of the styling. Now I'm going to take this one to bits just to show you what to do when it first arrives. But hopefully you'll see here. See how like we have a zero or an O. That's the closed position. Then you have a slot there or a little notch, that's for actually separating the deck from the tank. And then you have like a, almost like a little volume bar. Uh, that's for, that means that your juice flow is open and you can adjust it that way. But when it comes, it'll be, you know, there'll be a notch here and there's a tiny little notch on the bottom, you know, telling you where you are. So I'll just put my atti stand on here just now. And just to show you, you can see that I can move this like this. So I try and separate the two, nothing's going to happen, nothing happens, get the notch together and off it comes. Now I'll take this drip tip off just now, but uh, you know, just to point out that this is the mouth to lung drip tip, so it's taller and it's thinner. But I will also say here now that the chimney inside that runs up through the tank is the exact same diameter on the mouth to lung and the direct lung version. Uh, I, I was curious on whether or not you know the mouth to lung would have a you know a more narrow bore going up through for the chimney, but they're the exact same. Adding juice into this tank, this has been changed. This is a, a big improvement. Uh, you can see here, I can just spin this and it's going to open up these kidney holes here and you can just pour your juice straight in there. Once it's full, just keep spinning it. It goes a full 360. That's it closed off now. Now this section here, it does pull off. Uh, you do have to get your vape band and you do have to kind of like wiggle it a bit and whatnot. Uh, I've actually found it easier. It probably won't work now is that uh, because I've taken this to bits and cleaned it was actually just sticking my nail in there and now it's not going to work. I'm going to get the little vape band. I'm just going to wrap this around here and give it a little bit of a twist and a wiggle at the same time and she should, oh there we go, uh, she's starting to come off there now. This, listen, this is bone dry. It's once you get a bit of e-liquid on there when you first get it, then it's not as difficult to get off. It can be a bit of a struggle, but it, yeah, it will come off. So you can see you've got your O-rings here. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab that big Allen key. I'm gonna pop this in here. You can see that goes in there like that. I'm then gonna turn this clockwise and then that should pop this up like this. There we go. Now I will point out the chimney is the exact same. It's got the e-metal coating on it. The exact same as the deck. You know, scrapes have had this since the very beginning. And unless I'm mistaken, this part here is actually aluminium. You can see we've got a big beefy o-ring here and there's our tank. You can see we've got two little holes just down in the bottom there. That's where your juice is going to transfer down through. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for, you know, just taking this thing to bits. So that's the tank and I will point out that you can see that you've got this big air hole here and it's the same on both tanks. Now the decks themselves, uh, just to show you this, so the decks are pretty straightforward, they're almost identical. This uh, is the mouth to lung deck and I've got both coils here are from PC coils. Uh, I've had other builds in here but uh, I've gone back to these just I thought they would be best for demonstrating what you can actually do, do with this RTA. So this is a tiny little 2.5mm inner diameter fused clapton. Really really easy to get trapped under there. Uh, you do actually have little slots or notches on either side of the screws here so it's not difficult trapping the wire and the same applies for the mouth to lung sorry the direct lung version uh, this is a three and a half millimeter inner diameter fuse clapton and yes I did get that in there. This is a 0 0.3 ohm coil, uh, it's six millimeters in length, and it's just about as big as I think you should go with a coil in the direct lung, but the two and a half millimeter inner diameter works really well in the mouth to lung. Uh, you can see they're almost identical, aside from the direct lung has this ramp that goes down, and we just have this flat base here on the mouth to lung. But before we go any further, what we need to do is we need to get the closing ring 
into the actual tank itself. So this is the closing ring for the mouth to lung. So what actually happens is this bit here, we're going to insert this into the tank. So this is actually going to get pushed inside here, but you have to do it in a certain method. Uh, but what happens is this is actually going to stay inside the tank all the time. And this actually just will sit like this. So this is what's going to happen inside your RTA all the time. So your air is coming through the big hole from the tank and then through these notches and then it's going to hit your coil. So you can actually see the internal, the internal words, internal, you know, size of the, the chamber here. You get an idea how big it is. So the juice is actually going to come down through these holes here from the tank into these holes here and you should see, hopefully, there's actually little holes in the two wells here and that's where the juice comes into and wicks up. I'll just show you the mouth to lung one, sorry, the direct lung one. Words not working well today. Uh, so we've got the big notch here. So that is going to sit on there like that. The air is going to come through and down at an angle and hit the base of the coil. Now I will say that, in, you know, the size inside is actually pretty much identical for both versions. It's this bit at the front and how the air comes in. That's what's making all the difference. But before we do anything else, we have to get these closing rings inside the actual tank. So I'm just putting a little bit of e-liquid round this top notch. So there's a notch at the top of this closing ring here. So just getting some e-liquid round that. And then I'm gonna set this on top of the base here. And whenever you put your tank back on, you can see that you've got this line running right up here. Well, that needs to line up with where she gone, that line in the middle there. So I'm just going to slot this on just now. So push that down like that, slide it to the left, slide it to the right. Same again, and that will be it located in place. And you can see there just now, it's actually closed off. So whenever you put this little notch to the, the zero there, then that is your juice flow cut off and that is your airflow cut off. If I twist it back the way on the mouth to lung one, you can see that it's opened up the airflow slots here and it's also opened up the juice flow control inside. And I'm just gonna do the same with the direct lung one. Down she goes. Give her a spin backwards and forwards. That's it located and good to go. So just in case I wasn't clear there, uh, you can see that yeah, I'm fully open. So this is me. I, this is where I would be if I was vaping, uh, and I can adjust this. So I can adjust. You can see that it's closing off here. I can adjust the air and shut this down a bit. This will also adjust the juice flow control to a certain point. So bear that in mind. So you can do that. If I was to put it back to the notch, then I can pull the tank off like that, put the tank back on. Remember you've got this line here, follow that line there. It'll just drop back in or I can just close her off. And the great thing is when you're unscrewing this off an atty, it kind of automatically closes off. When you're screwing it back onto an atty, it automatically opens. Before we get on, I will say it's borsalica glass that you have in here. It's, it's the Tyrell McCoy. We have palm drip tips going on here. Uh, we do on the bottom, we have a uh, gold plated 510s. They are adjustable 510s. And I think I've pretty much covered everything from a material point of view. Now this is a direct lung version. So I've just passed my cotton through here and I'm just gonna go ahead and do my usual. I'm just gonna cut it flush again outside edge of the atty. So just cutting it there like that and same on the other side. As always, just tweezing it out and you know, taking out some of the, the cotton here. I don't want it too thick. So hopefully you can see what I've got going on here with the cotton. And I'm actually gonna trim this off a bit. I, I'm almost taking this up at a 45 degree angle. I'm just giving it a little haircut. And that's about right for me because I am using quite a rowdy coil. So this is a, once again, this is a PC coil. Uh, this is fuse clapped in. It's coming out at 0 0.3 ohm. And because of that, I want quite a lot of wicking. So I'm hardly putting any juice, any cotton, sorry, down into those wicking holes. Just going to pop some juice on here. I'm using my Nata. And then just making sure that this is 
just popped into these holes same again on this side once again because I want to make sure that you know the wicking holes here are exposed because remember your tank is going to sit down on top of this the juice has to be able to get through this hole here and here and then travel into wick here at the bottom so you do not want this to be crammed in especially when you are direct lung and basically the lower the resistance you're going uh, almost like the less cotton you want going down into the wells to get it to wick faster it's the opposite for mouth to lung you want more cotton especially if you're using like a heavier PG which is thinner liquid so just before I put the cotton through the mouth to lung one remember see the two wells there so the juice is traveling from the outside two holes into the inner two holes there so for the mouth to lung one I'm going to use slightly more cotton you'll soon figure it out uh, basically at the end of the day it depends how you vape and what liquid you are vaping with if it's not wicking right then you've used too much cotton if you are getting a lot of spit back or it floods uh, then you've not used enough cotton but uh, I, I've, this, I think this is my third mouth to lung build and the same with the direct lung and it's not leaked on me once and honestly I've not had one dry hit yet. So with my coil in both atties now, uh, once again I'm just going to line up my, my notches here. So there's my line here and my line here. Pop that down. So I'm going to fill this full of juice so I want to get my little notch on the bottom lined up with the you know the off position if you like see that there it's in the zero then just back off here get your kidney holes open they're already open that's really good filler full of juice I really don't have any issues getting juice into this at all I'll just put in a little bit just now then I'm going to close off the kidney holes up the top and then I'm just going to open up the tank turning her clockwise here we go just like that and that's me um, I'm primed I'm, I'm ready to vape now I will say on the mouth to lung one you can see here that uh, I can actually adjust this and I'll cover this more at the end I can close off the air holes here and I can take it down to a really tight draw now bear in mind that when I'm turning this and I'm adjusting the draw here I am also a, you know I'm having a, a a direct impact if you like on the wicking as well so here we have the direct lung or this is on the Illusia I do believe you pronounce this uh, this is from Fakir's Mods uh, there'll be a review for this coming soon but uh, once again you know bear in mind this is a 24 millimeter diameter atty and it doesn't matter if you have the 2 mil or the 5 mil they're going to look and the exact same and be the same height and here's the direct lung one and I've popped this onto a little Aegis legend here and then there we go I'm ready to go for a vape and, and I'll let you know how I've been getting on with this I did say at the start I do like scrapes you know the RTAs over the years I've liked all of them but a couple of them have had some niggles uh, this tank here, the Enduro, addresses a couple of the niggles that I had from maybe some past tanks, namely the top fill. Uh, the top fill on this is dead easy, uh, super easy, barely an inconvenience. Uh, it's You can get the juice in there no problem at all. Uh, there was a previous model that uh, maybe wasn't so easy, so 10 out of 10 for sorting that one. Really, really happy about that. The other thing is the mechanism at the bottom. Um, there is no need to press down and twist like a previous model. Uh, this is really, really smooth. I can just spin it like that and that, and you can see for yourself, it's moving no problem. I can also, if I want to take the top tank off, oh, there we go, I can take that off. I can put it down like that. The, ju the juice isn't gonna leak out. It's locked off, it's sealed off. Uh, so you can leave it like that, no juice going anywhere, uh, just grab my line once again, pop this on, on she goes, and that's me, I'm ready to vape again. That mechanism at the bottom is very clever and very, very simple to use, and for me, I have not had one single issue with it. I have also not had any leaking, I have not had any flooding. You have to get the cotton spot on. If anything, that might be 
that yeah, that might be a slight niggle for some people starting off. Um, finding that balancing point, especially right, the mouth to lung one, you're going to have to use more cotton. And if you're using, you know, a heavy PG, you know, a heavier PG, then yes, you will definitely need more cotton. But you can adjust the juice flow control. But uh, remember, the juice flow control is tied into the airflow control a little bit as well. Uh, the direct lung one. I, I've been vape. I mean, I don't normally vape this way, but uh, I've had that fuse clapped in, in there. I've been vaping it at 40, 45 watts, 0.3 ohm coil. Very unusual for me. I've hardly any cotton in the wells at all, and, and it just wicks away quite the thing. No, it's really, I've not had one dry hit from it. A niggle I do have um, is, okay, there's a 5mm and a 2mm version. They're both the same size. Uh, now, I just, you know, as far as scrapes go, it's not really tall. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's kind of in keeping with all of them. Uh, but there's part of me would, that would like a 2mm version or a short version. Um, you know, it's just personal preference on my part. Sometimes I do like the 2mm tank just because it is shorter. Uh, but uh, that, that's a minor niggle on for just for me. I know as a general rule, people want more juice in their tanks. Uh, but for a mouth to lung one, I would, you know, if, if I was going to go and buy the mouth to lung one, I would probably want a 2mm one anyway, because 2mm would last me all day, no problem, I am vaping at, say, 14 watts. But bear in mind, you know, the 2mm the and the 5mm look exactly the same and they're the same height. Uh, but you can, down the line, you'll be able to buy the 5mm tank. Uh, if you have the 2mm one, you'll be able to buy the 5mm tank as an add-on. Uh, I think more details for that will come down the line. Uh, vaping with it. Actually, we'll cover building on it first. Uh, I don't find building on this an issue. I don't find this one that I have to dial in. I didn't have to play about with the height and the position of the coil. I just, just as you saw in the video, you saw where my coils were. Um, I've not had to play about with adjusting the coil height, making sure I get it slap bang up against one side. Um, each build I've tried something slightly different and then um, it, the vape has been, the vape quality has been consistent throughout. So I don't think it's one you're going to have to dial in, which is a big thumbs up in my opinion. The one thing I was surprised about was with the direct lung one. Uh, now, I, the first two builds I used in there, they were simple round wire builds. I was using 24 gauge and uh, yeah, I was getting the wire in there, no problem. The clamps, you know, the screws work very, very easy. I did try the, the beefier fuse clapped in just to see if it would work and it did. Uh, so yeah, you can get a rowdier coil in there and it will wick well and it does perform well. The draw is maybe the, that's always the big thing with these, isn't it? Uh, so we'll do the direct lung first. So this is fully open here just now and there's lots of air going through there. There's lots of air. There's still a restriction to it. There's still a slight restriction to it. I actually think it's, I mean, this is the, the previous scrape. Uh, a tiny little bit more from this. Not much, but just a tiny little bit more from this one. Obviously you can adjust it and I can turn the airflow down. I'm going to put it down to here. And it's still quite open. It's, I think the best, I'm quite a restricted direct lung. You can get it down. I don't think it's anywhere near a mouth to lung. Uh, and also I would worry about, you know, you're closing off the, the juice flow control a bit there as well. So direct lung, if you like direct lung or a restricted direct lung, then, then go for this one. It's as simple as that. Uh, but Sorry about that. Uh, that. That's not normally how I vape, but uh, it was just something I had to try for this device and um, it works really well. Um, and it works just as well with a simple round wire build in it. Uh, I've been vaping it, uh, doing my usual 25 watts, 0.4 ohm, simple round wire build. 
no problems with it at all. Uh, now, I'm going to read something here that uh, Chris from Stackwam himself put together regarding the mouth to lung one. So the, the airflow control in the mouth to lung one uh, goes from uh, a very close to a moderate tight draft. Uh, in numbers, 0.7mm, 1mm, 1.4mm and 1.7mm. So that's it. And, and I will say, if I go down to, if I just take this down to just one tiny little slot there, you can see I've just got that one hole there and yeah, it, it does feel like a zero, it feels like a 0 0.8, 0 0.7. It is a mouth to lung. I mean, I'm just at 14 watts here. Actually, I could go down in that. I'll go down to 12 watts and I think mouth to and I'm getting a throat hit from that as well um, and I think mouth to lung users will be very will be happy with this I do think they'll be happy with this opening it right up it's a loose mouth to lung it's not a restricted direct lung it, I I really don't think you are going to, it, there's two camps here and you're either mouth to lung or you're direct lung. Doesn't matter how restricted in direct lung you are, if you are direct lung, go for the direct lung tank, mouth to lung, go to the mouth to lung tank. Uh, they both work very well. As an old mouth to lung user from back in the day, I think, yeah, I think that'll keep folk happy. I did struggle with the wrapping my head around the internal chamber sizes because they're basically the same um, and the fact that the internal diameter of the, the chimneys are exactly the same, I didn't think, I'm being honest, I didn't think that the mouth to lung was going to work quite as well as it does on the flavour and draw front. I was maybe thinking that it was going to be more condensed in the chamber and it would have a narrower bore on the the actual chimney itself. I think uh, you really do need to use a, a proper mouth to lung drip tip. If you put a wide bore drip tip on this then I really think it's going to mess with the flavour and the draw. Uh, but so that but that's just my take on it. Uh, do I have any burning issues with these tanks? Aside from what I've mentioned no. I'm really, uh, I've been, once again, I'm really happy about these because the improvement on the, the locking mechanism and the adjustable flow at the bottom for the airflow and the juice flow down at the bottom is as smooth as a baby's bum. It just, it's free. It spins freely. There's no pushing down. There's no leaking from it. It just works perfectly uh, that then I'm really happy about that because I was slightly worried when I first saw the yeah the first video for it but anyway it works the top fill works as it should just be sure and close off the juice flow control before you fill the top um, get your cotton wicking at right and, and it'll look after you I've not had any dry hits or anything like that for myself flavors good um, the draws as described and it's machined it's a, it's a scrape. It's it's what else can I tell you? It's mach it's the machining as as good as you can get in this game. I think, all things considered, if my main gripe with this is purely, I wish there was a two mil that was smaller, uh, then yeah. It's a good one. It's a really good one. I think they've done a very, very good job in this. And to date, it is I think the best scrape that has been released. And, and no niggles. No, I have no niggles to give you, I really don't. And I'm going to shut up now. Um, I did not get any Toblerone for doing this review. I did, however, get small pieces of chocolate. Thank you to the guys at Stackquam, as always, for sending this on. I did get both of these free to review. There are going to be, if not already, lots of reviews out there for these devices. Please, 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 go and watch them. Go and watch other reviews, read the manuals, uh, get as much information in you as you can before you hit the buy now button because sometimes I get shit wrong. I really do. Uh, but uh, thank you so, so much for watching and until next time, bye for now.